Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about work clothes and I'm going to be showing you the clothes that I wear to work as a Monday through Friday lookbook. Now, a lot of people, a lot, probably like three of you, <laughs> have asked me to share more of the clothes that I wear to work. But honestly, like as much as my other dress haul videos might deceive you my wardrobe actually has an average age of about three years i do not buy new clothes very often most of these clothes are old which i feel like is not helpful but recently i've been in love with best dressed this channel on youtube i just love her videos and even though i don't have any of the clothes that she buys and i'm not going to buy any of the clothes that she shows it still just kind of gives you a little bit of inspo and i enjoy them and so i was like just because you might not necessarily be able to get these pieces doesn't mean that you know it's not still kind of fun and cool to just show you what i wear to work so I'm gonna be showing you guys these clothes as like a Monday through Friday lookbook. However, you know, if you're a full-time doctor, then you haven't just got Monday through Friday, you've got long days on Saturday and Sunday, then you're back in again for another long ward round on the Monday, and then you're gonna do that all the way through till Friday, and then you'll have a day off on the Saturday before you start your weekend nights on the Saturday night. <laughs> Not even joking, that's a genuine road set that I worked. I don't like plan, this is a Monday, this is a Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. But the way I'm feeling, the vibe for that day will have an impact on how I want to look. Without further ado, let's get into the video. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos. Join me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Check out my blog and let me know which outfit is your favourite. Which day do you like the most? Let's get straight into the video. So outfit number one is the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, it is a top and kind of like an overall, I don't even know what we call these things these days. It's from Urban Outfitters. I love it. I've worn it all summer. It is the most comfortable thing like ever. And yeah, I really like it, but it's got an open back and it is pretty chesty. So it's not appropriate for work until I put this blouse under it. So this blouse is from Asda, I believe. My mother got it for me. She just randomly buys me stuff and I love it. It's so great. Great, thank you mom it's kind of see-through so if I show you that here so <laughs> casually just stripping on camera but if I show you I am <laughs> wearing a very inappropriate bra I'm wearing a red bra and you can just see you can see through it so even though it has all the makings of a professional looking blouse it is um, just not because it's see-through so these are just the perfect match for each other. They both make each other decent. And I feel like this outfit together is a Monday outfit because on Monday you tend to have a lot of new patients that have come in over the weekend. And it just gives a real vibe of like, hi, I'm homely. I'm a great doctor and I'm going to look after you. Welcome to the ward, lovely to meet you. How are you feeling today? And every time I've worn it, I've gotten so many compliments, which I don't say to brag actually because I find that quite stressful so like the more compliments you get for an outfit it's like ah oh, crap they're gonna notice when I wear this tomorrow as well <laughs> clinically you need to be bare below the elbows and um, for when you're doing any kind of I don't know any kind of medical work on a ward so that is also really important and I pair them with these super comfortable shoes uh, I used to wear heels to work a lot I have wide flat feet and it's just not good for them and actually I was getting a fallen arch and really bad um, problems with my feet and especially as I've gone back into athletics training like I actually need to not mess up my feet <laughs> so that is one thing that I now put before oh my gosh is this this is what getting older is like I actually put function before aesthetic when it comes to my feet now wow who am I who am I anyway so that's outfit number one Monday boom smashed it home by seven o'clock you win in for outfit number two, we're going to get a little bit, a little bit spicy. Not too spicy though, because we're professional and this is a professional work environment. But we're just going to have a nice, pretty outfit. So the top is from Miss Selfridge. The trousers are from H&M, I believe. Um, they are the most comfortable trousers. Unfortunately, as I gained a little bit of weight, they are a little bit too tight. Um, but when I first got them, so so comfortable really stretchy you can lunge in them you can do whatever in them i love this outfit because the top is just so flattering it kind of like you know just hugs your waist a bit but then flares out so that no matter how much you eat that belly is on lockdown let me know that you be on lockdown which is great so so great every time i wear this outfit people ask me have you lost weight and i'm like i'm like no but i love this top i love this outfit um 
it is again a bit below the elbows it's really comfortable i find that i don't actually adjust my outfits that much according to uh the weather because it is almost impossible to gauge how warm a hospital ward is going to be so summer is absolutely boiling winter is hard to gauge though because sometimes it'll just be cold sometimes it'll be way too hot so who knows so this is a good outfit because i can just throw a jacket on top uh, if it's too cold um, and i can just wear it as it is and it's pretty chilled pretty room temperature friendly so that is for tuesday just you know being a little bit stylish but still keeping it professional and yeah that's the tuesday outfit and then comes Wednesday, hump day, whatever we call it, why ever we call it that, I don't know, because it's like the middle of the week. And we are going for the oldest top ever. In fact, it was not even the top originally. It was a dress that I cut because it was the most awkward, ill-fitting dress. I believe it was from Primark, but I did like the neckline. So I just cut off the bottom and have been using it as a top for about four years now. In fact, you will see this exact same top in my two years ago <laughs> um, work outfit video. Uh, so I pair that with these beautiful River Island trousers, which I really need to rehem. I might just pin them for this video and um, to show you what they look like when hemmed i do have to wear them with heels because again five foot three and a half but no one cares apparently no shop actually cares for petite people yeah you've got your petite sections but all the clothes in them are hideous so here i am sweeping the floors for you yet again with my too long trousers but i just love the prints on these and um, they're really comfortable they are very much a statement piece which again is kind of annoying for me because as i've said i wear a lot of the same thing but i do love these and it's a very easy outfit to put together the reason i've chosen this outfit for a wednesday is because if i do want to wear heels once a day i'll choose the day where i've got teaching or where there's a board round or where i'll just be sat down a little bit more um, and not running all over the place so heels are not for an on-call for me but i do still wear them occasionally and they are nice and hidden under these trousers and again enable me not to also clean the floors of a ward as i walk around then we come on to thursday and for thursday i'm wearing this super chilled patterned black top which does show a bit of arm action now it is fine to show your arms i just generally don't a lot because <laughs> this is gonna sound like such a melodramatic problem but people just always ask me about my arms like oh what workouts do you do and i just get i just get embarrassed at work it's actually quite rare for me to full on get my arms out um but on the days when it's too warm on the ward i will wear this outfit and then i'll just have a cardigan that i'll take on and off um, and then i pair this with again a skirt that is so old just a super simple black pencil skirt for me a plain black pencil skirt is just a must have of a wardrobe unfortunately i did buy cheap ones a while ago i have like three of them they haven't ripped or anything like they're still good i have had them for years but i think it's probably best to invest in like a good quality pencil skirt that actually is like a good thick material and um, because they're just they're really not going out of fashion that quickly and again all you need then is this one skirt and you can just alternate it with your blouses and it's so so easy to look like you're done up because you've got a pencil skirt on but really you you just put a bit of fabric around your legs and you're wearing the same thing most days and then we come on to friday friday is all about minimalism and this dress you will have seen it all over my instagram all over my instagram stories if you've ever worked with me if you know me from work first of all hi thanks for watching my channel second of all you'll have seen this dress because i live in it it is the most comfortable thing it is from new look i believe and it is just so so comfortable but also really cute like God bless you, Nulik. I actually went back there the other day and I did see this dress in burgundy. But as I've said, I don't buy that many clothes as much as I talk the talk. I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I didn't buy it and I kind of wish I had. Um, so yeah, this dress is so comfortable. Again, the sleeves roll up really easily. You can run about in it. You can wear it with or without tights. In summer, I go without tights. In winter, I go with tights. Um, I pair them with these shoes, which makes me look a little bit edgy. So sometimes I have patients saying, you don't look old enough to be my doctor. And I'm like, oh. Thank you, no one's, people stopped saying that like four months into F1. I was super disappointed. At first I was like, no, I want people to think I look old enough to be their doctor. I want them to trust me. And then four months in when I was tired and haggard, people stopped saying it and I was like, hey, don't you think I'm too young? Why did you just believe me when I introduced myself as the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> anyway um so yeah i love this dress it is so comfortable i live in it and it is perfect for a friday when you just know you just know 
But as you try to walk off the ward, something's going down and you're not, go you're not leaving until two hours later. Because that is what Fridays are for, ladies and gentlemen. They are for weekend handovers and foreseen situations that were only flagged up just when you're about to leave. <laughs> So yeah, that is the end of the video. Five different work outfits. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. I mean, I know that, you know, as a doctor, obviously I take my job very seriously. Like my outfits are not the reason I go to work, but it is so much fun to feel like, you know, I think the way that you dress really can depict the way that you feel and the way that people respond to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you wanna see more stuff like this, if you wanna see my normal everyday clothes because I do kind of go from professional to ratchet like that. So yeah, let me know if you wanna see more of this kind of stuff. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, love you, bye, thank you.